Good to go. Welcome everybody to our August leadership webinar. We, it's hard to believe it's August, but we have a fantastic lineup of people that you're not going to want to miss hearing from today. We have our, our grandparents, Chuck and Tammy Gates from Montana. I'm not sure where they're at right now because they travel a lot, these two, but they're ambassadors of Double Diamonds and we're really excited to be hearing from them here in the next little while. And we have Steve Copping from Queensland who has gone platinum recently Recently. So we're excited to hear about his thoughts and wisdom and what we can learn from Steve is amazing and I can't wait for you to hear the story about how Steve found Peter and who Peter is. Uh, he's a very accomplished businessman and we're, we just can't wait for you to hear Peter's story and his, his personality, his enthusiasm is contagious. So you're definitely going to leave this webinar feeling inspired and uplifted and we're excited to welcome you from all, as I said, all around the world. I'm in Los Angeles but it's back at home in in uh, Queensland, so we're yeah we're excited to get things rolling. So, just the next slide, babe, and I'll go through yeah, that. Yeah, perfect. So, as you all know, we usually start our webinars with recognizing all of you, all your efforts, everything that you've been up to. You're an inspiration to all of us. It's fantastic as we see you achieving. Um, points and volume toward the promotions we've got running now. Uh, it's exciting. We'll go over that in just a little while. And so just the special guests, as I mentioned, Chuck and Tammy, Steve Copping and Peter Campbell. Steve's also known as Coppo, but I just for some reason can't call him that. And then we've got some important team information we'll go over and just cover the promotions and incentives. So you all know, especially new people on the webinar today, what's happening, what you can focus on and what, what is possible for you to achieve as well as upcoming events. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, yes, a great new promotion that we uh, just get in the news out on as well. You want to stay tuned for all the details on that. So what we'd like to do now is, uh, and thanks, Melissa, what we'd like to do now is to recognize um, all of our, well, all the incredible leaders in our team that have done great things. Director 300 is a fantastic rank. This is, uh, this is the rank that if you duplicate this over and over in your team, you can take your business all the way to diamond. In fact, all the way to presidential triple diamond because it is the, the foundation link. So it's, uh, it's pretty significant. Uh, this is where you've um, obviously active yourself. You've got someone sponsored on the left and the right and you've created 300 points on the left and the right side of your business, both in a, in a calendar week. So these are uh, week 27, lots of, of rank advancements to the to Director 300. So again, uh, week 27, uh, the Director 300. So this is all within the last within the last month. And uh, yeah, just a massive congratulations to you guys. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Very, very excited. Uh, and also for the people in your team whom we are featuring today, be sure to reach out and let them know that they are mentioned and recognized during our uh, leadership webinars every month so that they know that we do definitely appreciate them and we are certainly watching their rise to success and fame. So it's really exciting to see. Congratulations, everybody. This is week 29. Yeah. And then week 30, all the new Director 300. And Director 700, very similar to, to Director 300. This is doing 700 points on the left side and, and 700 points on the right side of your business in a calendar in a business week. And uh, so this is for week uh, 27. Again, a lot. Week 27 was a huge week. And, and we're on to week 28. Uh, the people who had rank advanced. So again, like Melissa said, reach out to your team. Um, let them know that uh, that they're appreciated, they're recognized, and um, and this is definitely as director seven hundred. You know, you probably helped you know some of the people in your team achieve director three hundred. So you're already moving up the ranks. You're help, look, working to find leaders. Uh, this is week thirty, again for director seven hundreds. We've so. got a reach for the beach theme happening. That's this, right. This month webinar. <laughs> okay, and bronze, bronze executive. This is uh, this is doing two thousand points. This is the first executive rank level in the business. It's really a, a great milestone because at the bronze level, you're actually activating uh, the EMP bonus, where you can participate in the global um, a portion of the global sales. Uh, it's doing two thousand points on the left, two thousand points on the right. And the other thing that's important about this is you're definitely helping your team to rank advance because you've 
at least have two direct or 300 legs in your business. So uh, for the week of tw uh, week 28, we've got Angus here. Congratulations uh, to you, Angus. Congratulations, Agnes. Agnes. Penny Bond. <laughs> yeah. That's Bart's dyslexia. Yes, it is. Sorry. <laughs> I'll leave the pronunciation to use for it. Uh, week 28, Yvonne. Well done. Congratulations, Yvonne. And Kit. Congratulations, Kit. Fantastic achievement. And Lou, I think. Um, David, he'd be better at this than me, but congratulations. Okay. And bronze we've got for uh, Alan. Well done, Alan. Congratulations, Alan. Silver executive. Uh, this is uh, this is where you need three director, three hundred legs, and you've done instead of two thousand, you've done now three thousand points on the left and the right side of your business. So you're definitely growing it, building it, uh, and we have a brand new silver. Uh, Tim and Wendy Murphy, congratulations, you guys. We are so excited for these two. They're amazing, amazing leaders and entrepreneurs, and they're very supportive to their team. And they're from Toowoomba. And we have uh, we have some golds to recognize as well. So gold, this is a this is a pretty big jump. So now you've got five thousand points on the left, five thousand points on the right, and you've developed uh, four director three hundred legs that are qualifying as well. So this is this is a great level. And Christine Wong, well done. Congratulations, Christine. Mm. You can move through the slides a little bit faster too. Um, okay. Uh, congratulations. Oh, yeah. Platinum. And Platinum, we've got Platinum Executive. We've got uh, Mr. Steve Copping or Capo. Steve, <laughs> well done. This is a massive <laughs> accomplishment. We'll be hearing a little more from Steve a little later. And a brand new diamond as well. Fantastic, Charles. Congratulations, Charles. Well yeah. done. Looking forward to meeting you. And our uh, our fearless leaders here, <laughs> our, our personal sponsors, Ed and Rebecca, um, Ed and Rebecca Weens, uh, recently hit Ambassador Ambassador Diamond. So massive congratulations to these guys. Absolutely. We wouldn't be here without these two and they wouldn't be here without Chuck and Tammy. So we're excited about our parents and grandparents. That's right. And the specialty awards. So top associate and rollers, there's a few of these. So we'll roll through these for all of you. So this is for week 27, top associate and rollers. You'll see a theme in these names when it comes to people achieving reach for the beach and fast forwards as well. So congratulations, week 28. Um, amazing leaders here on the board. So this is week 29 that Bart's going through. So you'll recognize some familiar names on this list. And emerging leaders. Did you want to explain what emerging leaders are? Bart? Yeah, emerging leaders is, this is an important, um, because this is basically where you're getting recognized for helping your team to rank advance. So it's not just about what you do, but it's about what, how you're helping your team and duplicating those efforts. And so uh, these are the people who have, who have helped their team to rank advance. So it's a uh, huge congratulations to you guys for, uh, for working and building with building your team, helping them get to director 300, director 700 bronze and so on and so forth. So uh, lots of people here that have helped their team to rank advance, particularly with the reach for the beach theme, we're seeing lots of action happening. We certainly are. So week 29, a lot of people tied for 10th place. So congratulations to all of you. And Emerging Leaders for Week 29 continued, so well done. And our Auto Ship All-Stars, this is where you've created sustainability in your business. You've got people, you're teaching them how to stay and, and remain on Auto Ship, so they're constantly getting the products. It's certainly one of the foundations of our business. And you can see here's the, the people for that uh, have achieved in the top 10 in the Auto Ship All-Stars. Fantastic. Week yeah. Uh, week 29, congratulations again. And week 30. 30, so well done, all of you. It's exciting. Top Here's EMP earners. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. This is, as I mentioned, when you hit bronze, so this applies to bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. 
where you're reaching in to uh, the, the global pool, 2% of the global sales, you get a portion of that. And, uh, and it's a significant, uh, you know, addition to your check. And these are our emerging leaders for, uh, or excuse me, the, yeah, the, the uh, EMP earners for week 27. Uh, well done. Well done, Capo. Congratulations. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We kind of run the board and our team for that. Uh, this is this is for Australia. Yes. Of course, as we're looking at these leaders uh, again the next week, and for the uh, for the next week after that, let's see which number this which week number that is. Week twenty nine. Okay. Here's, here's week thirty. So, Steve, I think you've been first in the country. Well, first year in the country as top EMP in the last four weeks. Congratulations. All right. Now, one of the next things we want to recognize is the fast forward. Um, this is really a great way to build your business, guys. It's uh, it's um, teach. We want to teach your associates to uh, as soon as they enroll someone to go ahead and activate this, and uh, it's sponsoring four new people in a fourteen day period of time and creating at least 800 points as well. So you got to set them up with auto ship and at least a hundred point order to begin with. Um, but there's some significant rewards. So the companies get, send you 25 sample tubes of Renew 28. It's $185 value. You get a uh, points. That's a couple hundred dollar value. And then, uh, and also, no. um, <clears throat> I think you've got the controls. Yeah. There yeah. You know. And, uh, and then also the fast forward bonus. So it's a significant, so you, the additional, yes, you, know, so you make at least $610. These are all the fast forward achievers um, in, the last, uh, in the last month. Now fast forward plus is doing just, is enrolling eight people in this period of time and it's 1200 points. Uh, same rules apply and you can see we've got some, uh, some great achievers in this as well. Uh, congratulations to you guys. This is fantastic achievement. And with the Reach for the Beach contest, uh, we're seeing lots of people hitting this, but it's really a great way to kind of focus and to create duplication in your team. Congratulations. Uh, the Diamond Summit's coming up. Here are the, uh, the people who have, have won the Diamond Summit extension. This is to Oahu. We've, we've got Dan and Suzanne, Richard Lee, and, and Mal Sword who have achieved that. And then the Diamond Summit is uh, in Maui. So just after that, so there's a few days before uh, for the extension and then uh, and then the Diamond Summit. So congratulations. Uh, we see Sepp and Yeska have, have jumped on to the, have achieved this as well. I uh, knew from last, from last month. Um, but congratulations to you guys. Can't wait to spend some time with you in Maui, Hawaii. And Karen and Wayne, um, Zhu or Jesse and David, he and Karen Lau, they're all new at the fourth reward level this last month. So congratulations. Wow. So excited to see you in Maui. Fantastic. Yeah. The, uh, the Grand Wale at this place is absolutely fantastic place, and we want uh, we want all of you on the Diamond Summits with us. <laughs> so, be exciting to find out where they're going going to go for next year as well. So, reach for the beach. This is the contest that's happening. We'll go through the details on this a little bit more, but these are the people who have already qualified uh, for third and fourth place, and there's a lot of people who are um, who are getting very very close uh, as well on that. We have, we have, just to go back for a second, we have um, Jeanette Buhagia, who's very close. She has enrolled 15 people just to get the volume up. We have Sean Gretsch, who's enrolled 14 people at 5,000 points. He's so close. Um, Bessie Yang as well, 13 people at 3,600 points. And Wayne and Karen Pickstoner have enrolled 12 people at 6,700 points. So, so many of you, as Bart mentioned, are just so very close to the fourth prize. So keep get, get the volume up, keep enrolling, and you'll be in Bali sipping cocktails on the beach before you know it. So congratulations. And our team acting in the top 15 places um, so far, uh, top 15 names listed. The, our team is 98% of um, that, that uh, list and that volume. So we're really excited for all of you to take advantage of this incentive. And there's still plenty of time to, uh, so even if you're getting started right now, you could, you could win this and, and uh, you know, trip worth thousands of dollars to go and, and spend some great time in Bali and connect with, uh, connect with the leaders. So, uh, so now we've got uh, our special guest speaker that uh, I'm, I've got the pleasure and honor of introducing um, Chuck and Tammy Gates, our ambassador, Double Diamonds. Um, 
they are uh, incredible leaders. Gosh, we've we've known each other for a very long time. Uh, we were involved with a, another company years ago, and uh, and they've definitely played a, a major role in in being pioneers in the ASEA uh, business. So, um, love to bring Chuck and Tammy Gates on, and love to welcome you to the call. I'll just stop the screen sharing on this side here. And Chuck and Tammy, are you there? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me, Bart? Yes. I can hear you. It's uh, just looking for the speaker view here. Have you got a video today, Tammy? There she is. They're in the car. <laughs> okay. Ah. Thanks yeah, for joining I'm, us. I'm, I'm here now. Can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> let me turn my let me turn my video off. Okay, this is better. Okay. Right? Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. Let me just go back to um to just share the screen and uh on the PowerPoint and I'll that way we can have a visual with you. But but yeah, let me I'll, I'll do that here in a second. So so Tammy, uh is Chuck there with you too or is it just you today? It's just me, but I have a story about why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well, tell us what you're up to. Where are you at? I think well, I called you before and you said you were on a boat. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's really proof that you can work this business from anywhere. And every summer we spend about a month out here on the lake in our RV. And uh, originally the flyer that was sent out, Bart, said 4 p.m. Pacific. So I messed up on the time zone. And we were prospecting the new campers that moved in next door to us from North Carolina. And so we decided to take them for a boat ride and show them Montana. And then when it dawned on me that I had the wrong time zone, we turned around and brought me back. So Chuck's out on the lake in our boat prospecting. Oh, <laughs> okay. And, and that's, uh, which lake is that? Is that in Montana? Yes, it's called Canyon Ferry Lake, and it's just a lake created by a dam on the Missouri, the longest river in the United States. Wow, okay. Well, um, well, interesting. Well, thanks for jumping on. It's, it's great to hear from you again. And, you know, for, I know there's a lot of new people on the call. Uh, Tammy, just share with us a little bit about your background, how you guys got in, involved in, in network marketing and, and how that led to a, how that led to a SIA, kind of what your journey has been. Oh, you bet. You bet. I met Chuck when I was 19 years old in college. And we got married when I was 21, so that was 40-some years ago. And I was raised to get as much college as my parents could afford, find the best dollar per hour job I could get, have really good work ethics so that you could get raises and promotions and build your resume and get a better job. Uh, when I met Chuck, he told me, no, 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 Tammy, it isn't going to work that way for us. Um, I'm hungrier than that. We have bigger dreams than that. And Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, isn't going to be how we're going to raise our family. And so I, we, um, Chuck says that I used to tell him he wasn't an entrepreneur. He was always just in the manure because... <laughs> As he was searching for the right opportunities for us, I was doing anything I could do as a job to help our family get by. And so I was a hairstylist, turned travel agent, turned bank teller, turned flight medic. Um, back before we found network marketing, we were constantly overdrawn. We never knew where our next mortgage payment was coming from. When we found network marketing, we had so many credit cards, they were all maxed out to the tippy top. And a friend called us two nights before Christmas on a Sunday night at nine o'clock at night and asked us to listen to an Alan Noble webinar. And we were 
um, just interested enough and and frankly, I didn't want to embarrass the friend. So I said, okay, we'll do it. And from that day on, we jumped in with both feet. And today, uh, we don't have 17 credit cards anymore. They're not maxed out to the tippy top. In fact, I pay them off every Friday, Bart. I like to say that Friday is my new favorite F word because it's payday. <laughs> and... Uh, we're, we're, except for our mortgage, we live a debt-free lifestyle and we're working on becoming 100% debt-free and, you know, just having a blast helping other people who are hungry and have a dream like Chuck did make a living while making a difference. You know, you know, the, the, the fact is, is you guys have been involved with the network marketing profession before you were leaders in another company. And so... I think, you know, you've experienced the ups and downs. I know probably that, you know, there's a lot of people who have, um, you know, had, uh, uh, had some war wounds from, from, diff from, from different experiences, different companies. I, I guess what I'd like you to do is just share, why did you decide to get behind, you know, ASEA? Why ASEA? What made the difference to you? Um, because obviously you were, you were pretty cautious in the beginning to, to really make that decision, but you, uh, you did jump in. What was it? What was the things that, help you to make that decision? Um, you know, there are five critical elements to consider when choosing a network marketing company to partner with. And even though we had a good run with another company, um, I, sometimes I think we may have just gotten lucky because they didn't have all five things lined up in a row. There's a harbor in Italy that has harbor lights lined up and when the captains steer their ships into this harbor if if all the lights aren't lined up the ship is in danger of shipwrecking and we were with a company that didn't have all the harbor lights lined up and it shipwrecked and it took us down with it and when we found asia all five harbor lights lined up and so those lights are number one, the corporate executives. You have to choose a company that has corporate executives who have experience doing what they're doing, they know how to do it, and that they're with the company not just for a job or not just to further their career, but they're passionate and, and on purpose and feel like this is their calling. And with our corporate executives at ASEA, we have all of that and more. Uh, the second harbor light is that of the uh, field leadership team. You have to have a field leadership team who are not competing with each other, who are not, um, you know, it's, it's one team, one dream. And everybody's working and pulling the wagon towards the same direction and people are friends. And you know what you were talking about the Diamond Summit and and uh, even Reach for the Beach. You know it's so fun to attend these events and hang out with crossline friends who you only get to see a couple of times a year, but who support each other. Uh, the third Harbor Light is uh, the product. You have to have a product that nobody else has and that everybody wants and can use. I'm really concerned about the CBD oil industry, um, some of the shampoo and makeup network marketing companies that are cropping up because they don't have exclusivity and that Harbor Light just isn't lined up. Yeah, um, a lot of, the, yeah, a lot of people looking for shiny objects and we've got the best thing. <laughs> that, that is pretty exactly. unique to my attention too. Yeah. Yes. So another Harbor Light is training and support. And, you know, your team, Bart, Melissa, you guys have done a stellar and amazing job of providing training and support for your team. So people don't have to take a machete and chop through the jungle because you guys have built a four lane freeway for people to run on. And so just, you know, congratulations on that. That's amazing. Thank you, Tim. And, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And, and the final one is timing. You know, if, 
if someone were to come into the network marketing industry with, you know, eight track tapes or CDs or, or something like that, it is, the timing is past. And we have a cutting edge technology the, our biggest market are baby boomers who are aging, and our product is a miracle for them. But at the same time, at ASEA, they are hiring millennials like crazy to get their expertise and their look and their take on things, because ASEA really wants to break into that generation using social media and technology and whatnot. So, Bart, that's that's in a quick nutshell it's the five critical elements all the harbor lights are lined up that's a that's a, a pretty powerful summary um and man i could <laughs> i uh, i concur with with all of those things there's some pretty pretty powerful stuff the executives at ASEA, i know when you when you flew to salt lake city and met virtus norton tyler norton they're pretty special people in fact the whole executive team are pretty special people um, so there's a, a lot to be said for that. I mean, you know, I just when, wanted to pitch in quickly, Bart, on that point. So I know, Tammy, before we joined to see you, there was, we had a three-way call with you and Chuck. And I remember when I got off the phone, I thought it, it was so strange that you kept talking about how amazing the corporate executives were because our experience in this profession is that they were there and we were on the other side of the line. We were here and they didn't really treat us as people. We were in a business. So I remember how much that really caught my attention because I didn't understand what you were talking to me about. I really didn't. We had to experience it ourselves and that has made all the difference. Understood the technology at the time, but just didn't understand what you were talking about there. So that harbor light in itself is refreshing in this industry. It's unique to ASEA because you just don't find this culture anywhere else. And so I'm so grateful that you really made that point and really made it clear for us because we didn't understand it when you first spoke, spoke about it. We had to experience it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's amazing. We know that our corporate executives have our back. Yeah. The, the, other, the other thing you mentioned, Tammy, was, uh, was the field leadership. You know, the, the thing I love about ASEA is the people who are involved in building an ASEA business are people who are self-motivated, they're ambitious, they're people who gen genuinely like helping other people, they're the kind of people who want more life. And you just had an opportunity to spend, uh, spend some really fun days at Denny's Diamond Days, your, your sponsor. Uh, maybe just tell us a little bit about that and your experience with, with some of the field leaders. Well, um, every year, Denny and Tom Robinson open up their ranch in Spokane and bring all of their qualified diamonds out for four days. And everyone just hangs out and strategizes and uh, has a boatload of fun. Uh, this year was really unique. Um, we, as a Denny Robinson team, are... Um, uh, we partnered with Tiffany Malott, who is a network marketing expert, and we are creating a digital magazine, a team edition, that um, you'll be, you guys will all know about it, come out in January, but this digital magazine will be an amazing tool for your team to use, and um, we're going to feature some of your leaders in this magazine, so you're going to be able to read their stories. And at Denny's Diamond Days this year, we actually um, did a massive photo shoot with all of Denny's Diamonds that were there for the covers and the inside articles and everything. And so this year was kind of special and kind of fun at Den Denny's Diamond Days. But once you break diamond, you will get a personal invitation from Denny herself to come on over to Denny's Diamond Days. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I was a little jealous looking at the photos. I wish we could have made that one, but <laughs> but you guys had uh, had some fun for us. Uh, hey, one of the next things I just wanted to talk about too is um, you mentioned the products, and that's truly something that's pretty amazing. That we have something that's special, that's unique, no one else has. Um, you know, you and Chuck have had some pretty great r results with the products as well. Um, maybe just kind of share with us what your journey has been with the, with the products, some of the people that you've, you know, that you've helped. Uh, I know that with your back, for example, and Chuck had some, um, you know, mm -hmm. had 
and challenges before. Maybe just share with us what your experience has been with the products too. Oh, you bet. So Chuck uh, has, until we found ASEA, Chuck was on an antidepressant medication of one kind or another for over 30 years. And if he went off his medication, uh, if we were traveling and he ran out, or if he thought he was feeling better, uh, within several days, he could not get enough focus together to get off the couch. And um, so it was, it was really impacting our life and our family. Uh, he has been medication free for nine and a half years now. And you wouldn't even notice that he ever has issues. As well, he wears soft contacts for eyesight, and he uses the ASEA spray in his eyes, so he sprays his eyes instead of wetting solution or contact solution, and he sprays his eyes morning, noon, and night. If he wakes up in the middle of the night and has any kind of dry eyes or something, he uses ASEA instead of contact wetting solution. However, in the last eight years, his eye doctor has reversed his eye prescription seven times because wow. his eyes are getting better and better just because of that reason. Um, in 2004, I broke my back in a couple of freaky outdoor enthusiast accidents. Uh, we wrecked our snowmobile and I was ejected from a water slide tube into the rocks uh, the same year. And I was miserable at night. I never could find a, a good position to sleep in. And when I woke up in the morning, I was so stiff and sore and miserable that I could hardly walk. And I just thought that was how I was gonna live the rest of my life. But 11 months after drinking a SIA, I woke up, I went to bed one night, nearly as broken down as ever and woke up the next morning fixed. And I don't know why it took 11 months. I don't really care because it never came back. Our, uh, uh, our 10 year old grandson has autism. He's been on ASEA for the last three years and uh, he's been mainstreamed in his classroom in school. So he's not in a special needs classroom anymore. And um, his, uh, his big sister made up a chant for him to drink the pouches of ASEA. And so she would chant to him, ASEA, ASEA, A to the S to the E, A. <laughs> <laughs> and when she was done chanting, he was done drinking. So we have no clue how much he gets. <laughs> oh, right. Wow. Congratulations. They're beautiful stories and, and very real stories that have changed your life. So it, it's wonderful to be able to stand behind the strength of your story to be able to share with others. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, you guys, to your team. I just love watching the new enrollments come across my dashboard. Um, you guys are really cutting it up and we're so so incredibly proud of you and so honored to call you guys friends and teammates. It's true, your entire team. Uh, thanks, Tammy. Hey, I, I, I thought maybe you could give us some, I mean, you guys hit the ground running and part of that was, was uh, necessity. You know, sometimes, um, you know, sometimes necessity really creates a sense of urgency and gets things going. You kind of shared, shared with us, you know, what, what that was like in the beginning. Um, but maybe just talk to us about all out massive action. What did you guys, some of the things that you did in the beginning to kind of create some all out massive action in your business? Cause sometimes when you, you know, in fact, I would say every time when you create a, a big push in your business that really launches things cause network marketing likes speed, but uh, maybe some of your key points of advice for someone who's just getting started and how you got started. Oh, absolutely. So you're right. We were, we needed, we absolutely needed um, a financial kiss fast. And so we did start strong and hard. We had a ASEA meeting where we invited prospects. Uh, we had 80 prospects in the room because Montana 
had never heard of ASEA before. ASEA was only six months old, so nobody in my town had ever heard of ASEA. We leveraged every single person we knew. And we had 80 prospects in the room. That was almost 10 years ago. Over the last 10 years, we've enrolled just over 80 people. And today, that has leveraged into over 80,000 people globally. And so, you know, we are um, telling that story a lot, Bart, but we are teaching a concept of beat your box. And by that, I mean, so many people will enroll in ASEA and they will say, if this works for me, I can tell the world. And I'm just gonna wait until I find out how it works. And so we're telling them, you know what though, you could get a return on your investment and possibly pay for some or all of your enrollment order if you beat your box. So in other words, before your box arrives on your doorstep, let's find your first two people. It's called a director's bonus. It's only $50, but by the time you find your first two people, you can earn anywhere between 50 and $500, depending on how much, or more, depending on how much they product they come in with. And so we're really leveraging the director's bonus and the beat your box concept. And we're finding that the teams who pick up on this and use it are growing enormously fast and strong and they're having success and making money earlier. Now that's, that, that sounds really good. I like the idea of, you know, plus if you're evaluating the product, why not get a few people to evaluate it with you, you know, make a decision. I mean, the, for that matter, the company has a, you know, has money back guarantee on the product. They got nothing to lose. And when people get on their products, particularly if they if they stick on it, you know, for 90 days and track the results, you know, they're going to want to be on this for the rest of their life. So you're just creating that sense of, um, well, you're building that belief system um, right from the very beginning and helping to, helping things grow. So I think it's a really smart approach to really take advantage of that director's bonus. So um, the director's bonus where you get an extra you enroll two people, you get an extra 50, it'd be US dollars. So for us over in Australia, it'd be about 70, little, about 70 bucks. Uh, that plus the fast start bonuses, you've paid for your product. It's, it's a smart way to go. Um, and that's a lot of people that, uh, that you talk with, but basically you just picked up the phone and called everybody and created a sense of urgency. And I know that you had the idea and still do have the idea that everybody you know, everybody that you care about, everybody that you love needs to know about this, this technology, needs to know about the product. So regardless of whether they decide to jump yep. into build a business or not, it's just really getting the word out. And, and, regardless, some... and regardless as if, of, of them pulling up beside you in a camping ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Congratulations yeah. to both of you. Both you and Chuck, Tammy as well. And but I didn't know. Did you have more questions or? Uh, no. Well, that was just the main thing. I, I guess maybe we just kind of wrap up with uh, with this idea. You know, Tammy, you've been on the advisory council for ASEA for quite a while, so you've got the, the inside uh, inside lane and the you know of knowing what's up. Where do you see things happening timing wise? Of course, we've got the convention coming up in in September. We look forward to seeing you there, and and we're going to take a little uh, motorcycle ride up through. Uh, with Justin, um, uh, with Justin and Ed Weens and you know a bunch of people from the from Asia up through Yellowstone and not no, excuse me not Yellowstone through Zion National Park and the Grand Canyon, but maybe just talk with us just briefly about uh, where you see the timing uh, and and uh, your thoughts on convention in terms of getting there. Mm -hmm. So if you were to draw the shape of a dinner bell and then you were to cut it in half from the top to the bottom, north to south, you would be looking at what is known as a bell curve. Um, this bell curve is taught in business school all over the globe. And the first few years or the first uh, bit of growth on a bell curve are are kind of horizontal. 
uh, it, it's that lip of the dinner bell and things are very slow. But all of a sudden, the bell curve takes a due north uh, pro projectile and it just shoots straight up. Well, we are beginning that straight north projectile of the bell curve. And if you have friends or family or loved ones or neighbors who are hungry and have a dream of, of you know, tired of settling and tired of suffering from paycheck to paycheck, there's never been a better time to be involved with a company. Because like I said, the road's paved, it's a four lane freeway, and it's time for people to run. Sitting in the advisory council, there are nine of us all over the globe who spend hours and hours and hours with the SEA corporate executives, getting reports and strategizing and planning, and they're projecting uh, almost doubling in size in the next two years. And so this is our, this is our run. This is our ride, you guys. This is our legacy company. And uh, this is going to be a massively fun rodeo for those who get in and run hard and don't leave anybody out. If, if there's somebody that's been on your mind, let's link arms with them and uh, let's go. Absolutely. Look, if, if any of you are sitting on the fence or if you've got team members that are, are kind of wondering if they should go to convention, it's absolutely worth the investment. Go fast forward your business. And uh, I know Tammy you've, uh, gives us a great chance to, to all connect as a team. Uh, so you'll want to meet Chuck and Tammy if you haven't yet. And uh, we need to get you back out to Australia again. I know I've been thinking that as well. I've been thinking that, you know, big decisions are made at big events. And if you have someone on your team who you would love to see make a big decision, um, do what it takes to get them to convention. I've seen, I've seen people piled on the floor in sleeping bags at convention just to share a room and save some costs. And whatever it takes, they, they say that for every person you have at convention next year, your income could possibly increase by a thousand dollars per person. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, or if there's any data behind that or not, but I do know that every single leader at ASEA won't miss convention. And so if there's, you know, if there's any role modeling or duplication to happen, and do what it takes to be there and bring your team. Don't come alone. Fantastic. Well, we absolutely look forward to, uh, look forward to seeing you here. Jesus, it's coming up quick. It's going to be in just a little over a month. So do you have any other questions, Melissa yeah. or Tammy, before we go? No, I'm so grateful for your sharing, Tammy. Thank you so much for get cutting your boat trip short and for joining us please give our love to chuck and we are as bart said excited to see you in las vegas here soon and you're absolutely right in terms of leadership and being at the convention it, it's synonymous it goes hand in hand so so we're we're excited and thank you very much again well you're welcome i was an honored to be here and um i'm gonna go hook up with our boating people and enroll us a new associate <laughs> Congratulations. Good stuff. Thanks, Tammy. Thanks, Tammy. Uh -huh. You guys are welcome. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Bye. All right. Uh, I would like to uh, turn this over um, to Mal Sword to, uh, to introduce uh, our brand new platinum executive, Steve Copping. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mel. Morning, Bart. Morning, Melissa. Yeah, good morning. Hey, Coppo. I don't know if you guys know, it's Coppo's birthday today. Happy birthday, mate. Gosh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Coppo. Not every day you turn 40, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before I, before I just start, I just got a few questions that I would like to ask Coppo and have him share. 
Can I just can I just make a, a special shout out to a gentleman that you put on screen called Willie Marie Louise? And we passed over him in the recognitions. This man just went gold. And he's from a tiny little island called Martinique in the Caribbean. And that little island is a population of 38,000 people. And what this man has been able to accomplish in a relatively short period of time amongst 38,000 people is just spectacular. So I just wanted to, we passed over these names and most people wouldn't know where these, some of these guys are, but Willie Marie has popped up in a tiny little island of Martinique in the Caribbean. He's just doing a special job. So um, extra congratulations to him. So I just wanted to make mention of that because most people wouldn't know where he is and what he's doing. So um, great effort. Thanks, Mal. Yeah, I probably did flick past that. Yeah, it's kind of like, you, you guys got, so we've got so many people now, but uh, I, I know a little bit of his story and uh, Mijo has just actually returned from over there. So I just wanted to make that uh, mention, special mention, but uh, you would know he, he's just, um, uh, he just reached platinum uh, last week, Coppo, um, week, whatever it is, 28, you know, I'll lose track of the weeks, but um been an interesting journey. I kind of know, Coppo and I have known each other for a long, long time. And um, what I wanted to ask you, Coppo, is just, is just a few questions about, um, you've been a veteran in the industry now, I think um, probably longer than I have, 30 years. I hope that's not unkind, <laughs> but, but maybe 30 years. And you've seen a lot of companies come and go. You've seen a lot of the ups and downs in the industry. And one of the questions I'm interested to ask you and have you comment on is, is what did you see in a SEER that was so different or what separates a SEER from all of the other companies that are in our industry? What makes this such a unique experience? And um, I, I think that's important for new people that maybe haven't been on this journey before to, to really understand why this is so different. So if you could, if you could just uh, speak to that for me, Coppo, please. You might want to unmute, Coppo. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to answer it for you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Pretty high tech, us too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you when it comes to high tech, man. Um, yeah, well, I've only ever been with three companies over 30 years. I was with one for 25 years. Um, I never got involved with either three because of the, the product. Um, if something hasn't didn't move my heart, I, um, that was the key point. Uh, the first one uh, I got involved with was purely because of the, the distribution model of network marketing. I saw a chance where the, the farmer could actually come into the middle and become a, the middleman and the consumer at the same time because we're always on the end of the food chain. Uh, the second one I got involved with was because it helped small business and it was where I thought the first company was going. Um, and uh, But had I known the... Uh, I guess the morals, ethics, and principles of, of where you know, um, I would never have moved. And that was a great learning experience, the second one, because I moved there because of a concept. And, uh, you know, ex uh, ex experience, wisdom is what happens after you needed it. And uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how long that goes for, but um, um, so, yeah, so after the second experience, and I think uh, you and I, you, you, we both spoke on this, that we would never get involved in something purely on a concept again. If the, if the principles, if the owner's principles, values and ethics weren't aligned with ours, it didn't matter what the product was, we weren't interested because, um, you know, being early 40s, Mal, um, you and I, um, <laughs> for actually we're both between 60 and 65, but we didn't, have, we didn't have, Mal and I didn't have time to go again for another five years if this one didn't work. So, you know, Mal and I, I've had numerous conversations on this that we had to get it right this time. And uh, when Mal first approached me, uh, it just so happened that the February conference is only two weeks out. So I decided to go along and meet the founders and his son, uh, Tyler and Virtus, for I, 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 eyeball to eyeball. And, and I went along there for them to impress me. And... Uh, <laughs> Boy, did I get a shock. It was more a case whether I fitted in. Uh, it was it was nothing about money, boats, houses, cars. It was all down to earth stuff. And I thought, gee, these corporate guys have got a soul. They've got a heart. And I've never experienced that before. So that was the number one thing is, is because in this industry, we've got two choices. We can either start a traditional business where we, we, we are responsible for anything, where you can get involved in the network marketing industry where 
sure the owners can change the plan and I can see I've seen it happen numerous times um, but you don't have the trappings of a traditional business and I would t I would take the, the second option right above the first one anytime as long as you as long as you've got the right people that are running the ship and I think you know after meeting Tyler and Virtus uh, and the corporate guys that head this team, I got no doubt that uh, we're in good hands. The product is unique. Uh, I mean, that, that it's awesome. But number one thing uh, when you're looking at an industry like this is is the found the pr founders' principles, values, and ethics. And uh, I think we got it right this time. Awesome, thank you, Coppo. Uh, the other thing that I I want to uh, just to ask you to speak to, please, is. Um, you know, when you, when you build a, a business like ASEA, um, this is a lot to do with self-mastery. This is a lot to do with each of us have got our own Achilles. Each of us have got our own challenges. And whilst many people would look at you and say, well, I, I can't see that Coppo would have any challenges building a business like this. He's a 30-year veteran. And, or they look at Bart and Melissa and say, well, I can see why they go triple diamond or, or I can see why, you know, certain people are able to do it. But um, can I just ask you to speak really about uh, some of the uh, challenges that you've had to overcome personally to uh, reach the level of platinum? Because um, we, we need people to understand it's not, it's not just for copper. It's not, not just that, that you're special. It's not, this is something that anybody can accomplish if they, if they deal with themselves and if they deal with their own um, you know, stuff, <laughs> we've got stuff. Um, can you just speak to that, please, Coppo, for everyone? Yeah, well, it was a, um, the first uh, book I ever read was Seven Strategies of Wealth and Happiness. I was never a reader. Um, I, uh, I, I just always interested in sport. Um, but uh, that book, it was in big print, so it was easy for me to read. And uh, I guess he's been my mentor for 30 years when it comes to personal development. And if I'd highly recommend you read that book, if, and it's a great one for your team, called Seven Strategies of Wealth and Happiness. Um, he's actually got a, a great CD. If you're looking for the secret uh, of how to build a, a business like this, it's all on this CD. And it's called Building Your Network Marketing Business by Jim Ron. Um, you don't, as far as I can see, you don't need any more tools than that. The secret is on that CD and uh, I'll just play that over and over and over again. Um, and I think Mel, you've spoken about self mastery probably more so in the last couple of years. And I'm totally aligned with that because uh, everyone wears a mask. Uh, one of the things you'd never want to do is judge your insides by someone else's outsides. And uh, because, uh, you know, behind, the, you know, uh, um, when someone, you know, presents a smile, you don't, you've got no idea as far as what's going on on the inside with that person. So it's all about, uh, but yeah, so as far as struggles go, I used to, I, I prided myself on making other people laugh in my early days and often it was my expense. And uh, I don't think that sense of humour is, 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 that still stays with me. But sometimes I always knew there was going to be a time when I'd get serious and it didn't happen until I was in my 30s. But uh, when, I, when I first spoke to people about this industry, they just kept laughing. And so I had to go and buy, build my business with people I didn't know, with strangers. And I had to let time prove, prove, prove them right. And um, so, um, so yeah, everyone, it, as you, you've covered so eloquently in the last you know, couple of years, Mel, everyone has a journey to tell. Um, it's, it's an individual journey. But one of the things here is we are very fortunate with the leadership we got. Um, I look at it as an umbrella. Um, if you look at um, an umbrella, um, I've got a C of the company um, with a unique product, the founders behind that. Um, so I've got the right company. I've got the right mentor in yourself, Mal. Um, um, I'm very fortunate to have you as my sponsor. And everyone in this team is linked to people, the leadership on this call. So that's another part of the umbrella. Um, the training system, the training and tools, um, just incredible the personal development side um, but it the best example I've seen is that it only takes you two to five years to become financially independent in this industry but that's between B and C and I've, it's fair to say in a C it's probably two to three years but the, but to get from B A to B is an indefinite time period of personal growth now on a scale of one to ten if, if you can find people at B that are eights, nines, and tens, you, that's the quickest way to build this industry. 
but I'd sooner have a two out of 10 that's got a poor self image that's hungry than a nine out of 10 that is not hungry. Cause you can always make a two sharp, but you can't make a nine hungry. And what builds this is hungriness. Um, so if you want to build this quickly, find people that are already at B, right? Because um, uh, th then you, th you'll get quick growth. But so someone coming in like myself as, as a three or a four, when I first started, I had to work on myself. I had to become a five. So then I felt comfortable about prospect fault, prospecting fours. And so the journey, like you've always said, is with you. Be, climb the ladder of personal development. And, uh, and, uh, and that's the eight. For some, a two, it might take him five years to get to B, where then he can become financially independent in two to three years. So the biggest thing is A to B. And as you said, we're actually in the, the per, per, uh, SEER, isn't it? we're in the personal development business, but it's hidden in a, in a business called a SEER. Exactly. Well said, Coppo. Thank you. Um, many of you on the call wouldn't know that uh, Coppo used to, uh, was a, uh, a very significant sportsman, used to play for the Bombers. Um, probably, what, five years ago, Coppo, something like that. Five years ago, I <laughs> uh, was with the Bombers. Um, look, just one final question for uh, all the new people that are listening to the call now and will listen to the recording of the call. Uh, what, what, is, what are some of the advice you would give people as they start this journey, people that, that are just getting started, that, that look at uh, you and, and so uh, you know, I, I would love to be, I would love to get to this rank. I'd love to get to the, you know, the triple diamond rank. What, what's some advice from your 30 years experience when you would speak to somebody who's just getting started, what are some of the things that you would say to those people to get started in the business? Well, I think, and I guess this has come from, you come from yourself and Bart and other leaders. And uh, it's, it's the same thing message all the time is, is what's your end goal? And you can put a pin level on that. Is it, is it uh, gold? Is it platinum? Is it uh, diamond? What, what's your end goal? And I think anything above diamond is, is a plus. I think as far as an end goal goes in the next two to three years or whatever is, is a great long-term goal for someone. So if, di if diamond's your goal, what, what I'd encourage you to do, and this was taught to me over many, many years, was have a look at what it takes to become, a, what's the structure of a diamond? What do you need? And I think this is what you know I, I've looked at because you need six director 300s to go diamond. So begin with the end in mind. And so if you look at the numbers, the ratios, well, well, how many, and if you look at yourself and Bart and you guys have got ratios of how many people you sponsored per and how many director 300 legs you've got with the number of people you've sponsored. And if it comes out to one and seven, one or eight, um, let's say it's one and eight. Okay. Well, I need six, six, eight to 48. Right. So my focus should be to go and sponsor 48 people. And because uh, I had a leader in my previous business that built one of the quickest businesses in the country. And if diamond was the goal and, and platinum was underneath and, and then there was gold, this guy went, this guy hypothetically went gold. And I asked him, so when are you going platinum? He said, I don't know. I only know when I'm going diamond. There's a key message there. Right, because that wasn't his focus. So I think as uh, people fall into the trap of what's the next pin, then they should. What are, what are the qualifications for the next pin? Then they get to that pin. Now what's for the next pin? You, you will stifle your growth if you do that. So work out what pin you want to reach ultimately, and then get. get I, I would consider counselling with an upline gold or above. As in, in your line of sponsorship to work out a strategy of you to hit and begin start working on that strategy now rather than wait till you hit, hit the various pins, pins as you move through. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Coppo. Um, I, I think that's probably us done, Bart. I think that the time uh, is, is about right. And I think, uh, Coppo, you're going to bring on the next guest. So uh, am I right, Bart? Am I getting the, the, the order of this right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's fantastic. Uh, and, really appreciate it. Yeah, so I just want to say thank you, Coppo, for that, and uh, and congratulations, mate. It's a, a great, great story and a, a great journey. So, so thank you very much, and uh, thank could you. I, could I just add? Uh, I didn't get a time, but I, you know, I'd just like to thank you, Mel, for all your leadership and uh, direction over the years. So, thanks, mate. It'll continue, Coppo, too. We haven't finished yet, mate. <laughs> <laughs> too young. Way too young. <laughs> yeah, well. It's, uh, 
Kapo, you've been an, an, an absolute example of persistence, that persistence has really, has really paid off. And I think that um, you're truly an inspiration for a lot of people because sometimes it just, uh, you know, over that consistency and persistency makes all the difference in the world. And obviously it's about finding the right people. And with that, I would, uh, I'd love to have you welcome our, our next speaker and just introduce Peter, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I'd love to, but um, well, uh, just uh, speaking in general, I don't have a list, right? Uh, I blew that list many years ago. So um, a lot of people say, oh, I don't know anyone, I haven't got a list. Well, you've got to get out of your home and you've got to, you've got to meet people. Sure, with social media, you can meet people on there, but there's no better than face to face. And, and it's interesting, I was actually delivering a, uh, an ASEA, an ASEA, uh, some products to a, a person in Santry Cove uh, that had a, had a serious health I issue. And, and on my way out, because I've had Sanctuary Cove uh, um, um, dream homes on my, folder for, on my wall for 30 years. And so I always go into the real estate office there that's got the, the plans of Sanctuary Cove and uh, it's an incredible uh, display. And so on, on my way back to the car park, I popped into the real estate agent and uh, there, there was only one person in, in, the, in, the, in the shop front. And, and uh, he obviously being a salesman, he came over and can I help you, sir? And I said, oh, no, I'm just looking at this display. And I've always, you know, longed to sort of put, uh, eventually come into this uh, village. And, uh, and I'll just share with you in the story of uh, I was actually just popped into a restaurant. And I dropped a health product off to someone that had a serious illness. And uh, then the salesman um, uh, there <laughs> just started asking questions. And so what's the product? And uh, this happened to be Peter Campbell. I'd never met Peter before. I'd never knew him, uh, but he had a health issue himself. And, uh, and um, he used to be a truck driver um, <laughs> years and years and years ago. <laughs> so he tells me. Um, and, uh, but it just led from there. And you know, we caught up that afternoon. And uh, not only did it, because he's a great believer in, in uh, nature and uh, native, and uh, he got on the product and... And the, the, the relationship, the friendship has developed from there. And he's just a great guy. He's been very, very successful in his life. He's done a lot uh, in property development and real estate. And uh, I'm sure it would be a fascinating story when we hear the full story down the track. But uh, he's had an incredible start. He's uh, he has only been involved two and a half months. He's spon personally sponsored 24 people. He's you know, qualified fourth prize uh, for, for Bali and the reach for the beach. And uh, it, he's passionate about the industry and, and, and how we can help people. So it uh, gives me great pleasure. And, uh, and his wife, Carol, is fantastic. Just a great couple. And, uh, but uh, if you get it, there she is. There's Carol. Say hi to Carol. Uh, Lizzie and I have been, become great friends of theirs and uh, looking forward to hear their journey as, as they move forward. So, uh, Peter, I'll hand it over to you. Welcome to the call. Peter and Carol, yeah. it's great to uh, great to see you. And and as we went through the recognition, uh, you would have seen you would have seen their names up there quite a few times. And uh, you guys are just twenty four people, and you've already brought on in in two months. That is absolutely uh, setting a cracking pace, and uh, it's fantastic. So so welcome to our call. We we couldn't wait to feature you today, and you know. Peter, I'd love to just have you share a little bit of, of your version of the story of what happened when you guys met and how you came in into this. And obviously that really relates to your product story too. Just share with us a little bit about that and how these products have, have helped change your life. Yeah, thanks, Bart. Can you hear me okay? Perfect. Uh, I, just, um, I just want to correct one thing that Steve said. When he walked <laughs> into the office, uh, I didn't call him sir. Uh, uh, and I probably still won't, but he's not a bad bloke. But, but mate, it was very interesting because <clears throat> I'm, I've been in the property industry for 47 years. I started, started with a, a developer in Brisbane uh, in 1972. And, I, you know, we've been, we're ex-Air Force and uh, that's how I met this little wife of mine. See that woman there? Uh, she's been hanging around me for 51 years now. And uh, I'm starting to get a right, but it's taken a while. But um, uh, look, when I started in the property industry, I didn't even know what a survey peg was. I mean, uh, and then I learned there were two inches and six inch survey pegs. And, and I started from scratch. Uh, I felt a real dummy, but, but I learned the industry and it's in my blood. 
and we have done so much over the years and 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 now I can look at a paddock and think, okay, well, we can get so many blocks out of that and we'll put the roads in and the street lights. And so I started down the bottom and, and Coppo mentioned, I call myself a truck driver and, and that's what I'm happy being as a truck driver because uh, everyone has got, uh, everyone's got a background. But when I started, oh, there's Lizzie. Hi, Lizzie. <laughs> Now, I'll just mention to everybody hey, and, and sorry, we, I'm fine, oh. <laughs> we, we've got a pretty sick sense of humor and, and Lizzie thinks that I see Steve so much now, it, she thinks we're having an affair, but, but we're not. But uh, I, I just hang off Steve because he, through Mel, uh, is just giving me so much support with a seer. Now, when he told me about it, because I've been living the last eight years with a male problem. And, uh, and I understand you've got to be careful what you say about what the problem is, but, but all men know what the prostate is. And uh, they wanted to cut me up eight years ago. And I said, no, I'm not going to do that. They wanted to give me radium. They want to do all that stuff that uh, the doctors want to do because that's how they make their money. And I appreciate that. But um, I, over the last eight years, I have spent tens and tens of thousands of dollars and lots and lots of money on alternatives because I like the alternative side of life and I like the quality of life, which, which we have. So when Steve told me about this uh, redox signaling molecules, I mean, I couldn't even say it and now I are one, but, but he, um, I didn't know what he was talking about and he explained it to me and I thought, well, that's probably the key that I'm looking for the key that's going to unlock the door to our longevity. Now, Carol and I have been around for a long time. You know, we've a lot older than all those other people that, that you know, that's copying. He's got a birthday today, but I'd probably give him another 12 or 13 years over and above what he is. But, but we want quality and we've, we've, we've had a good life so far and we've got grandkids downstairs and we've got great grandkids downstairs because we're in Sydney right now for uh, one of our grandsons post wedding. So we're down here in Sydney at the moment uh, and we're in a Airbnb and I'm sitting on the side of a bed trying to get this phone to work. But um, Steve has been enormously beneficial and supportive to me because once I, I thought, I just said to Steve, mate, I want a box full of it. I just want to start right now. So he went and got a box and we started on, I started on it. And, and, this is here has just done so much for me. I've got to tell you it. And, and even, even I, I still get emotional about it. Carol just gave me a dig because she's, she's saying, now wake up yourself with it. But, <laughs> but I still get emotional about it because I don't get up at night anymore. You know, blokes now I'm in my seventies. Oh yeah. I'm 76 blokes. Uh, you know, you have a trail to the loo at night. Well, I don't do that anymore. I go downstairs in the morning to make my wife a cup. See, my wife gets two cups of tea in bed every morning. So I've, I've got to go down the stairs, put the kettle on, and my knees don't crack anymore. I, um, I just, uh, it, it has made such a change in my life because I'm drinking, you know, I'm really into it. I'm drinking eight, eight cups of seer, uh, of a seer every morning and eight cups at night, and, and I'm using the gel. But, but I don't have vertigo anymore. You know, these are things that you notice and you think, wow. And, and, and I've, I've just seen, there was a fellow who used to work for me. He was a, a general manager. He, uh, he's a bit older than me. He's nearly 80. And he, he suffered. He went to the Philippines. He was in hospital for two months. He had a real problem with the nervous system in his neck and face. And he blew up like the elephant man. Now, Kaba and I went and saw him. And I said to Gus, um, mate, hop into this. So after being on, on, um, on, on, what was he on? He was on, um, no, this uh, morphine twice a day for, for five years. You cop this copper, will you? Twice a day for five years on morphine and couldn't stand the pain. Now, we gave him the ASEA and, and the Renew 28 <clears throat> in four days. Gus rang me. He said, mate, this stuff works. He said, 
I've got no pain anymore. I'm not on, the, you scrub the morphine. Now, now you know, that <clears throat> you get this feedback and you think, wow, we are really helping people get enjoyment out of their life. I mean, this is real stuff. So anyhow, there's lots of stories like that. And, and, and you know, I'm, everyone I meet, I don't care who it is. I don't care how old they are. Everyone I meet, I say, you must do this. And they must because we are helping them. You know, there's a, a pastor I know. He, he runs a charity and runs a church. And, and I said, Phil, you are helping people's lives by getting them saved. We're going to help them live the quality of that life that's left in their body. Now, nobody knows where the end of the road is. Nobody knows. Nobody knows tomorrow. But we are helping people achieve quality in life. And everybody needs it. So anyhow, I'm into it. Everyone should be into it. And I've got to tell you, this stuff works. Now, it doesn't matter where you are in life. The benefits you can get out of this. You know, I was lying in bed at 5.30 this morning wondering how I'm going to get this phone to work. But because I'm a bigger dinosaur than that copping bloke and that other Mel Sword <laughs> bloke. And, and I was on the phone last night. I don't want to bore you with all this, but, but I'm sitting up here. In, uh, I believe we're in Manly. The driver told me it's Manly anyhow, so you've got to believe him. <clears throat> but I'm sitting. I couldn't get the phone to work. I'm on with Bart. <clears throat> and he couldn't hear me. And so anyhow, I got my granddaughter up here. She's 22 years of age. She flies aeroplanes for the Air Force. And I said, Jesse, come up here and help me get this thing to work. So we're on. So I'm lying in bed this morning at 5.30 thinking, gee, I hope it works and Jesse's not here. And it works. And it's just like a seer. It's just like Renew 28. It's, it works. Now, you can get people to help you with technology and you can get people to help you live a better life. And that's what a C is doing for us. So on the, on the, on the business side of it, you know, Steve talks about, well, I've been a goal setter for years. You know, we, <clears throat> we've had enormous achievements out of the property industry and we still have because it's in my blood. But as I said earlier, I can see a paddock. We, you know, we've got a 10 story building approved at Redcliffe and, and all that stuff. And it's nice to blow your trumpet a bit. But as far as setting your program for what you want out of this business, I said to Steve, mate, I'm not happy unless I'm a diamond. That's all I see. And if I was a girl, I'd have diamonds all over me. But, but I just, once we reach diamond, and we'll do it, we'll do it, I hope, in a very short period of time. Once we reach that, then I'm going to review it to see how we get to the next level. But we're shooting for that because... This business, I can't believe it. You know, I, we flew to Sydney, flew down to Sydney yesterday and I get a, an email from, from a seer, you know, your, your home office. And they said, oh, we've just put some money in your, in your wallet. And I thought, wow, I've got some more money. Now, not only that, because we've done a few fast forwards, we get product. I said to Carol, cop this. We just got to, and, and all you got to do is pay for the postage, pay for the cartage or whatever you call it. But I got a box of a seer. Didn't cost me anything. Carol got the advance, uh, you know, the women's skin product. Didn't cost anything. And then I got all these samples, 28 tubes, samples of, of Renew 28. And it cost me, I think, $17 for postage. And I think, wow. Now, if you do the work, you get the pay. It's that simple. But all you've got to do is talk to people. But, but get a commitment. Get that commitment going in your body, in your head, and, and just go out. Don't look for speed bumps. See, I don't look for speed bumps. You're going to strike them along the way, but I do not accept or look for speed bumps. If you come to a speed bump, you just go over it gradually and get to the other side. And that's what I'm doing with a seer because, uh, and I'll just diversify a little bit. This uh, copy bloke, he said, oh, you, you've got to go to the convention, you know, in Vegas. And I thought, oh, yeah, sure. And then Mel Sword came up. We met up at the Intercontinental Hotel at the Cove one night. And Mel Sword saying, you've got to go to this convention. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they threw a, a carrot at me. So we're going to the convention. And I can't wait to get there now. I'm just really looking forward to four days in Vegas. You know, we've been there before. But, but, but I'm really looking forward to meeting these people who have been out and they've done what we are doing. 
and see, I'm just an old truck driver. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. I mean that because we all say that, but I mean it. But don't look for speed bumps. Just go out, talk to people. And the more people you talk to, the greater your result's going to be. But what else can I say? Get into it. Get committed. Over uh, to you, Bart. Uh, that's that's ten four. Ten four. Over <laughs> to you. That's uh, that's fantastic. I, I tell you, getting paid in uh, and just you know just the warm fuzzies. I mean, the the story that you shared about the gentleman that that uh, came down with a very serious skin challenge. I mean, how does that make you feel? It's just amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, at Copo and I, we went and saw another fellow one night. And look, I've got a lot of stories, I tell you, because I'm talking to a lot of people. We went and saw one big fellow, very much overweight. I've known him for years, and he's always going to set the world on fire. And we're sitting there talking to him, and he said, I've got this pain in my foot, and I've, and I've had it for 30 years. And I, I, you know, I go shopping with my wife, and I walk for 20 minutes. I've got to sit down. And Copo said, Here, rub this uh, Renew 28 on it, do it three times in five minutes. And, 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 you know, the story. So we're sitting there talking with, uh, with Jeff about 15 minutes later, he said, I haven't got any pain in my foot and it's copper. And I look at one another and thought, Oh boy, thank God that worked. But, but it does, <laughs> but it does work. And here's a fellow who suffered for, th he said it was like a piece of wood, a wedge driven into my foot and the pain was unbelievable. So he re used the renew 28. The pain's gone. Hallelujah. I mean, this, it works. It does work. So for, I don't know how many people are on this link because I'm not at home on my computer, but I've just got a, an iPhone in my hand and I can see my head and I can see Bart over there. But, but for anybody who's on this link, just get out and do it. Just believe in the product. Believe and, and get people committed for 90 days. They've got to do it for 90 days. Because a lot of people, you know, say, oh, yeah, I'll give it a go. You know, and it's like, yeah, I'll try that. Well, 90 days, 90 days, 90 days. But the whole thing works. Copo, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. And, uh, I mean, I, I did my research. Uh, I didn't get a testimony until the fourth or fifth month, but my belief level was over the line because of the research I'd done. So don't just go on the product. Do the research with the links that you sponsor and your upline. Get educated on it in that first 90 days. And, I mean, yeah, I'll never go off it. So, yeah. And, uh, no, that's great, Pete. It's our pleasure. Can't wait to get to Vegas and... and uh, you know, you've got to meet this wife of mine. As I said, she's a Victorian, so, but I've got her right. She's now a Queensland. <laughs> We're looking forward to meeting you both in Vegas. I know last time we chatted, you had a major family commitment that was going to keep you from going to the convention. So, Peter, you've obviously changed your priorities and making it work, flying in, flying out, so to speak. And, yeah. and just have you done two, you've done two fast forwards and a fast forward plus, or is it two fast forward pluses and a fast forward? Oh, I don't know. Ask Copo. I'm two, just a truck Two driver. fast forward pluses and a fast forward. Wow. And that's in two and a half months of being yeah. involved with the That's absolutely amazing. No wonder you're on the, the leaderboard for Reach for the Beach. But, <laughs> but Melissa, that's just the start of it. You know, I'm not, I'm not happy until I get to that diamond thing. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt it at all. <laughs> you picked, you picked the right uh, upline mentors to have with Stephen Mal. I can tell you right now, you're, you're not going to go sideways off that trajectory. Yeah, you've only yeah. got one guy ahead of you, and that was uh, that's Dan Doyle. You got to, got to pip him at the post here. Well, well, but I haven't met this Dan Doyle. I've heard about him and I've seen his photos, but uh, we can't have him at the top, mate. <laughs> it's time for a change. <laughs> That's right. Uh, 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 but I remember uh, Dex, uh, an ex mentor said he said, uh, you know, the great thing about this is you can go past me, but you'll have your tongue out hanging out going past. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what Danny will be saying. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. yeah, Peter, we, we love your passion, and we're we're so excited to have you on on board with us. Um, can't wait to meet you in person. And in, in Vegas, kind of strange to go across the other side of the world. Yeah person but uh i'm sure yeah. that's, that'll be the, the time we meet in person and uh yeah thanks for thanks for all your input and great advice for everyone and like you said everybody needs this product regardless of whether they do the business or not we've got a responsibility to, to tell the world tell, tell the people that we care about the people that we love and uh we've got exciting times ahead i know 
Yeah, but Bart, uh, can I just say before you cut me off and delete me anytime? I don't, I don't mind. I'm used to getting cut off. But, 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 mate, I just think it's now that I'm learning more about this business and learning more about you people, it's a privilege to be with you. I tell you, because you don't get the support in life. You know, I've been, I've been chairman of a couple of public companies, and I, I've done a lot in my life. But, but, but when you're at the top. You, you just don't get the support. People look at you sometimes and think, oh, I don't want to know him. But, but for us, for Carol and I to be, uh, and my wife is Carol with an E incidentally too, but to, to, for Carol and I to be able to work with people like yourselves, it, it's just, it's a privilege. And it's great to have you people as company because we know the passion. I'm learning the passion that you people have got that is just running straight up. It's like a big needle injection and I love it. And I lie in bed now thinking, okay, 24 copo says you sign up 24. I said, yeah, well, we'll be, that's just the start of it. <clears throat> but, but it's a privilege to work with you people. And I can't wait to get to Vegas to meet the bosses. Yeah. We yeah. can't wait for you to get there either, Peter. Thank yeah. you so much for, for joining us. We really look forward to it seeing both of you, as I said before, in Las Vegas and go and enjoy your grandson's post-wedding wedding. Yeah, stuff. we've got to go to a wedding, yeah. Okay. Yeah, have fun and thank you so much for being the inspiration and the conviction you have, as Bart said. We're excited to be watching you absolutely fly, both of you. So thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you, okay. Carol. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. And, and happy birthday again, Steve. So enjoy the rest of your beautiful day over there. Thanks a lot for joining us. We're going to Thanks, transition Lisa. back Thanks, into the uh, yeah. No, thank you very much. We'll transition back into the slides. We just want to update you, particularly on the new promotion as well. So, Bart, if you want to roll through that. Yeah. Okay. So look, <laughs> this is uh, this is a fantastic promotion, and it was. Um, some people thought maybe it was just for the U.S. or for certain markets, but this is a global promotion that's happening for any of the markets that. Uh, have uh, have a Ciavia or access to Ciavia as a um, as an NFR product, which is the case for us in Australia. So this is um, you know everybody likes free stuff, and this is going to be a huge promotion, and it's going to be a great way to talk with people, but also to reconnect with people in your downline, whether they're active or inactive. This gives you a great opportunity to pick up the phone and talk to them. Basically, the idea with this promotion is you buy two of any of the Ciavia products and you get one for free. So uh, buy two source and you get a thir third one for free. Two biome, get one for free. Two at the life max, you get one for free. This promotion is only for the month of August. So it's time to absolutely um, you know, create that urgency to really connect with people. So this isn't mix and match. So it's not buy you know, one source and one biome and get, a, get one for free. It's, uh, it's two of the same products. So this is a great opportunity to basically get enough product to have a 90-day um, you know, supply of a product to stock up a little bit and, and really get, uh, get your personal experience with these products happening. Now, the interesting thing is not only uh, when you buy, um, when you do this, when you, when you buy th at least three of the products, so if really the idea is just to do this with all three of the products, get, uh, uh, get a full boat. And when you, when you purchased at least three of the products, then what happens is a C is going to give you $10 off per bottle as well. Um, that wasn't in some of the information because I wasn't sure about that, but come to find out we actually get that discount that we had before also. And if you purchase, if you get nine bottles, which is purchasing six and you get the additional three, you're going to pick up 50 loyalty points um, on top of that. And those loyal, loyalty points are added to your account on September the 10th. So definitely a chance to take advantage of that. In the U.S., you'll see in your back office a promotion like this for Shop Now. And in Australia, you'll have um, uh, this picture in your back office. Just click on that buy now. Now, this is not part of the auto ship program. This is separate, and you need to purchase each of the products individually, so not the three pack. But when you go in there and you select two of any of these products, um, you know each time when you go to the checkout, it'll uh, it'll show the free products that are there available to you. Now, in terms of the shipping, um, the cost for shipping is only fifteen dollars for up to nine bottles. And that's uh, it's based in U.S. dollars, of course, and so um, excellent flat rate shipping price as well. So, pretty good stuff. Anything you want to add to that promotion, Melissa? No, you covered it all. If people wanted to put some questions in the chat box, I can I can handle them on the side. Okay. As well. 
on some or, of these. Or Mal, if you wanted to, Mal Sword, if you wanted to talk to that promotion, I think it's, I think it's a really a great opportunity here uh, for us. Any comments on that, Mal? No, just, uh, just that, it, you know, anytime there's free stuff, we'll go for it. <laughs> Especially if you're Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So that's great promotion. It's, it's, uh, uh, what, what it'll do also is help a lot of people that haven't been on these uh, phytonutrients before have a, have a go at them. So, um, and if you've got too many, give them away for Christmas. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's a great idea. Christmas presents too. It's coming up. All right. Uh, the next thing we want to talk about is the reach for the beach promotion. So there's eight weeks to go. So even if you're jumping in brand new from right now, you can absolutely win this thing. Um, in fact, uh, Peter in what, eight weeks has put in 24 people. So, um, <laughs> so you've got that same amount of time to even, you know, potentially even win the grand prize. So let's just take a, a quick review on this. Uh, by the way, this trip is from December the 11th to the 15th, uh, and it's to this incredible resort in Bali, uh, in, in New Sidua, Bali, beautiful area. Melissa and I, gosh, it was a, my fantasy, my dream to go to Bali for um, my whole life, really. I'd never been there. And just this last Christmas, we went, and I tell you, this is, they call it the island of the gods because it really is. They just treat you like a, a king. Um, the people are so incredibly gracious. Uh, just, it's just an amazing culture. If you haven't been there, please go. This particular resort is all inclusive, so you don't have to worry about your, your food or your drinks or anything. It's just, uh, just a great way to go. Um, let me just uh, give you a little bit of a heads up on terms of the qualification. Um, here's the, uh, just an overview. So you can find all this information in your back office too. And this promotion, by the way, is for Australia, New Zealand. There is a promotion for the US. So if you're in the US, we're gonna go over that here in just a moment as well. But um, if you enroll between 15 and 28 people during this contest period, um, those are the qualifications. Uh, the next thing is to, that everybody that you enroll needs to be on auto ship and they need to have an initial order of at least 100 points, so at least one case of product. Um, let's see, the, uh, this ends on September the 27th in the US, that's US time, so just kind of keep that in mind. And again, this is a five-star, all-inclusive resort. Um, in fact, you can, uh, it's fam family friendly, so you could bring your kids. In fact, one of the reasons that they had timed this uh, for December is for, for kids that wanted to, friend, people that wanted to bring their kids along for their family, they could actually maybe just miss a couple days of school at the end of the year and uh, the school break and, and bring their family along too. So here's the, uh, here's the qualification. So the grand prize is worth about 4,600 Australian dollars, uh, which includes $2,000 of travel reimbursement. Um, and then um, obviously the, you know, your hotel room, and it's not just for one, it's for two. So it's pretty cool. So the fourth prize is $500 Australian dollar reimbursement. And you can see kind of in between how that works. Um, just to give you a quick overview on how to achieve this, uh, from the beginning of the contest period, if you enroll an average of 1.6 people per week, um, and each of those people, uh, let's see, well, that would be the, 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 the average number of people. On the fourth place prize, it'd be uh, basically one person a week. So we're partway into this contest already, so you just need to kick that up a little bit. You could kind of just work out the maths. But um, the total volume, now the volume is your enrollment volume, but it also counts your auto ship volume too. So this is pretty, pretty cool how this works. And just to give you an example, um, let's see, we've already talked about the enrollment requirements, but it's 100 points um, and an auto ship template of at least 100 points. And if it's a preferred customer, we get half the point qualification. So it'd still be the same case, but it counts as 50 points for a preferred customer. So just so that you understand the, the, uh, the qualifications on this. Um, let's see. Um, so the other thing is it does involve your auto ship and that's the important thing. So when you enroll people, you make sure that they've got a, an auto ship template, but when those orders come through, um, you know, for the following, for the following weeks or month of the contest that counts towards your volume. So just for example, for the grand prize, if you enroll 28 people, 
uh, and you average 200 points for enrollment order. Now, by the way, a lot of people come in with a business pack or an entrepreneur pack. That's going to absolutely bump your points way, way up. So not only that, but you're doing the best thing for those people too, because you're really setting them up for, for success, having more products, uh, having more loyalty reward points, um, and you know everything else. So uh, let's say, for example, on the auto ship, if you had 42 auto ships from these 28 people, that's only averaging one, one and a half auto ships per associate. That creates another 5,460 points. So that gives you the total of uh, over 11,000 points required for the grand prize. So it's just kind of breaking it down, working the maths on it. If we take a look at the fourth place prize, it's 15 new associates, uh, the same averaging 200 points per enroll, per person that enrolls, that give you 3,000 points. And if you figured basically a little less than one auto ship per, uh, per uh, 16 auto ships or per person, so it's um, 16 auto ships, which is a little bit less than one. I'm sorry, my tongue's getting a little twisted here. Uh, each of these auto ships, by the way, would only average 130 points. So a lot of people are doing, you know, one case and two tubes or maybe a couple cases of products. So it's pretty easy to get these points up to where you need them. And you've got the uh, 5,000 points. Again, that's just a, an example of how to break this down. The value on even the fourth place prize is, is $2,555. So it's a significant value um, to do this. So uh, um, excellent contest. And, you know, Melissa uh, mentioned that there's a lot of people on the leaderboard here, four people that have already achieved this, um, you know, the third or fourth place prize, and a lot of people who are just, uh, you know, just getting ready to, you know, almost there. So uh, put on your running shoes and, and go for it. Mal, you were at uh, the Reach for the Beach in Vanuatu last year. And uh, maybe you might have some suggestions, some advice on, on how to work the numbers and to make this happen. Yeah, so um, I'm not sure whether the promotion last year was about the same qualification, but uh, it was Almost exactly, yeah, exactly the same. So it's based. On, it's a great promotion because it's based on um, frontline personal enrollments, and uh, you know this is the this is the foundation of the organisation. It's like. What Peter Campbell's doing is, is yeah, he's going he's gonna to trip over Bali on the way through to Diamond. That, that's kind of how it works here. You set a vision to get the, the Diamond rank, which is what Cobo was talking about as well. You'll trip over these, these prizes uh, on the way to financial freedom. I mean, the real prize here is not Bali. The real prize is getting to Diamond or getting to Double Diamond, Triple Diamond. You go to Bali whenever you want. But this is a, a stepping stone to help you to qualify for doing what we're supposed to be doing which is just building your, your foundation. And uh, th these are great uh, promotions. Um, the, the one in Europe also, they're going up to see the, uh, what do you call those lights up in the, uh, was it Sweden? You know those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to the lights. Yeah, I'm trying to get a Guernsey to that one, but they're not buying in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, the, this, is, this is the basis of building your organization. People that are going to qualify for Bali, that they're, they're underway. They should be, you know, ranking at, at least bronze, silver, gold, probably in the process of doing this. So uh, it's kind of just a carrot that the company puts out for us what, to, to, to get us to do what we're supposed to be doing anyway. So, and uh, what this will give you is a, is a stepping stone reward, which our brain needs so that, you know, when you qualify for this, you'll, you'll, you know, the reward will be to be in Bali for um, what is it, four nights or something like that. It's just fantastic. I, I, took, I took three of the rabbits to Vanuatu last year and, and uh, they just they just loved it. They had a ball, and um, just fantastic. So some some of you may not want to take your kids, but but uh, they're just it's just a great incentive to um, and and the association at these kind of events is really the key. You know, yeah, they're great venues, but the association being able to hang around with the leaders and and to learn from them and to to gain from their inspiration and their wisdom and it's just fantastic. So. Um, you know, we're just uh, hoping that we, we, get, we get a huge bunch of people to, to, this, um, to this event. It'll be great. Yeah, absolutely. So look, just a, a little, a couple of tips or uh, not really tricks, but tips or ideas, suggestions. If, if uh, you or someone you know needs to order some, some additional product, uh, make sure that you set it up as an auto ship order so that you get the, you get the points for that, um, you know, on one of the people that you've, you know, with someone that you brought in. Or, uh, or make sure you place an order, bring someone in and place that order there so that you get credit for that. Also, just a, a heads up, the ASEA VIA promotion does not count because it has to be um, uh, 
you know, enrollment orders and in, in particularly in our Australian market, um, ASEA VIA is an NFR product. So the one thing I forget, failed to mention on the ASEA VIA, if you're an Australian or New Zealand, you can't put that promotion on uh, social media. So don't put it on Facebook, but uh, any of your personal or private groups, you can d definitely do that. But it's, the idea is just to pick up the phone and, and connect with people in your team. Best way to do that. So, hey, thanks for your input on that, Mal. Really appreciate and, it. And whilst Mal's there, so Mal, it just dawned on me that we missed an extremely important recognition. <laughs> and that is you joining Sears Millionaire Club. So congratulations. That's over a million US dollars in such a short period of time. Um, well done, Mal. Absolutely phenomenal. You completely deserve it. I'm excited about how that's changed your life. And we appreciate you very much. And thanks for blazing the trail of, of what you've done for all of us. So thank you very, very much. I didn't see the template anywhere, but it just dawned on me. I thought that was last month. <laughs> so, wow. uh, I, so, I think we did have it in there last month, but definitely yeah, was, yeah. without question worth mentioning again. Kind of old news now, really. <laughs> yeah. so, I but, but, oh, thank, thank you. Th thank you. That I, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, you, you, all of you know just how grateful I am to, uh, to you guys and to Doily and to, um, you know, to Virtus uh, for not selling this. Uh, it's just been a dream run, really. This is just the, this is a, this is the highlight of my career in the industry. You know, between Copper and I, this I don't know, sixty years of experience to find this company at this time is just um, it's a dream. It really is a dream come true. We'll uh, we'll never see this again. I'll never see this in my life again. And uh, it's just such a um, you know such an honour to be with this company. I'm just I tell people I'm a pig in mud. So, but thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mel. Um, just a quick one too. This is the convention for US and Canadians. So there's more information in the virtual office of if you're a United States or Canadian associate. It's to win your way or to help gain your way to the convention. So just the next slide, Bart. So there's, I'm not going to go into details, but there's first prize through, through to third prize. It's open to an unlimited number of people. So it's not shut off to anybody. And you can also get store credit when you and your team generate a million, um, a minimum of 8,000 new PGB three, which there's a little diagram here that explains how PGV three works just at the bottom of this um, slide here. And if you're among the top 10 qualifiers, you also get um, a Rio hotel suite and VIP seating at the general sen um, session at the convention. So first prize is up to 1500 US travel reimbursement, two tickets for the convention and hundred dollars store credit. And it goes down to the VIP, VIP prize is the four nights you get the hotel and the, at the Rio for free and four VIP seats at every general session, which is fantastic. And then the travel reimbursement goes down through third prize where it's 250 US dollars, two tickets to the convention and $50 to spend in store credit. So absolutely worthwhile. It ends in August. Um, I think it's not on here, but it ends toward like the 27th, 28th of August. So yeah, so capitalize on this, tell your team in um, North America what's going on. And this is just a really phenomenal way to be able to create, to, to get there to convention. So thanks. Yeah. Hey, this is Sia Via promotion. All that volume counts toward this. So <laughs> it's just another great excuse. I love how we've got one incentive on top of another incentive to really help to build our business. So uh, can take advantage of all that. Uh, look, I want to talk about enrollment packs briefly because this is, um, I like to refer to this in terms of setting people up for success. You know, sometimes it's easy to take the path of least resistance and get someone started on a box of product. But really, uh, when you look at the benefits of the loyalty benefits and the savings of getting a business pack or an entrepreneur pack, and also, you know, if we, if we really share the vision of where this business is going, um, you know, investing, uh, investing a couple thousand dollars into a business is not very much at all. So for example, on an entrepreneur pack, you can see the savings is $511. You're actually starting off at 15% loyalty benefit on top of all the, uh, the loyalty reward points that you get uh, and the savings. So uh, definitely a smart way to go. Definitely, um, as you're talking with people, you know, present these ideas and those options because you can always, you know, fall back to a lesser a pack or, or, you know, personal pack, for example, but I would definitely uh, share with them the options of, of uh, the larger packs. It's just smart business. These are the U.S. packs, so there are a few more choices. Uh, the cool thing is we can mix and match. So let's say, for example, if someone wanted to, uh, to 
order some different products, as long as they hit those point values, they'll get the same pack benefits, which would be at the sample tubes and the, the loyalty points. So it's pretty cool that they've actually done that for us. So the loyalty point rewards, um, as we look at this, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So um, there's th three different ways that we get loyalty point rewards. First of all is, is uh, on auto ship, goes up to 20 points over or 20% over time. And it's great. I mean, we've taken advantage of really thousands of dollars worth of free product just by being consistent. So the idea with this is, uh, is to help, uh, help people get started. So on auto ship, they'll go up, you know, start at 5% if they just come in, for example, with a, uh, case, a case of product or 150 points or something. If they do 400 points or more, they'll start at 10%. Uh, but anyway, as they continue with their, with their auto ship loyalty, they'll, uh, it'll go up to 20%. The enrollment orders, this is, actually shows the amount. So if you've got a business pack, for example, um, they'll get 50 loyalty bon bonus points straight away. Um, 10, 10 points on the, uh, on the lesser packs and 150 points or one and a half cases of free product if they come in with um, 800 points or a, an entrepreneur pack. Also with uh, auto ship, uh, their first auto ship order, you pick up an extra um, 20 bonus loyalty points. So you want to help people. I mean, the idea is to help encourage people to get started, follow up with them, make sure that they're tracking their results and that they're on a 90 day uh, plan. So all those are really important things to, to set up. Now, on upcoming events, I wanna point out, if you, on our Facebook page, if you go to Redox Events, you'll see all of the upcoming events in Australia and New Zealand. And then uh, for the US and everywhere else in the world, for example, we'll show you a slide here. If you go to ateamsupport.com, there's a password associate. You might wanna write this down or grab a screenshot just if you're, if you're not sure. The, the key thing is to always stay plugged in. You know, you gotta be, uh, at the spout where the information's coming out, as, uh, as our, our sponsor, Ed Wings, always says. So, um, Melissa, do you want to talk about, about this event that's happening in Florida? Yeah, sure. So, um, as we speak in Florida, or actually in a couple of hours, they're doing their Advancing Life Foundation fundraiser. The hosts across the weekend for the Saturday event, anyway, are Maurizio Munoz, who is a diamond executive, and Kayleen O'Connor and her husband, Milton. So, they're, um, they're platinums. This event is absolutely massive. The pre-event's already sold out. Um, the main event is at 6 p.m. on Saturday, and there's a part two, which is an associate continuing, continuing education workshop as well. So if you know anyone in Florida, it's not too late. Here is the link, the Florida August 03 associate.eventbrite.com. So take a screenshot of that. Um, also, Ed Weens has been putting it out all over WhatsApp as well. So there's also the um, guest side of things. So just the next, just um, click the slide, babe. So for guests, there is a separate link to be able to get your, your free ticket for this. And it's essentially a Discover a Seer. There is definitely limited seating left. So let them know to be there. Uh, it's going to be phenomenal because we've got Dan Doyle, Dr. David Silverman, and Karen Riley from a Seer Corporate as well, who's the VP of North American Sales at this event. So it'll be absolutely massive, and particularly with that Advancing Life Foundation fundraiser. This is a well-organized and well-run event. Um, thanks mostly to Kayleen she's incredible so yeah so the next slide we've got an upcoming event coming along for the expert in the house with ambassador diamond executive Nicole Dennis that's the Australian expert in the house this Wednesday and then the next event Laureen will be in Adelaide on Sunday, August the 11th. You can get your tickets at Redox Events on the Facebook page, um, Australia, New Zealand. It'll be a phenomenal event with her presenting and it's, it's just great anytime Laureen's talking to be there to support her and to listen to her because she has a really brilliant way of presenting and see her in changing lives. So the next event... Oh, this is to let you know on the... Uh, web website that Bud had up before, which is Trish and Bob's, which ateamsupport.com with post password associate. Here's an example of a screenshot from their site. You can get a list of events all across the world. You just click on them and you get more information. There's often flyers attached. So that's where to go to get a rundown. You can see the Clearwater Tampa event coming up, Texas event with Terry Latham and Super Saturday in Denver, Colorado, which would be with the Bucks. So the Alan Noble tour is listed on there too, but we've got that coming up here. So next slide. 
Okay, so September the 7th is our next webinar, but already lined up a couple of phenomenal speakers for that event. Um, Dr. Leland Duck will be coming on, so we need to confirm these people, as well as another doctor, so it'll be phenomenal. We'll be doing that live from Vegas as well. Just to let you know that next month, and for every, all these webinars, David He, Triple Diamond from Melbourne, he will be doing a Chinese version straight after this. So if you know any Chinese people, if you're on the line already, stay on the line. We'll just transfer host controls over to David and he will do this um, webinar through translation. So keep that in mind um, straight after following this event. Tickets have gone up to 299 US, which was the normal price before the discount. So I hope you got your tickets before the 31st of July. If you didn't, the single ticket is still really reasonably priced. Um, if you want to do a 10 pack, it's not too late to do that either. And you can get your tickets at a sea of convention.com. Oh, so by the way, if you, if you didn't notice, they, they've just announced what the big party is. They always have a theme party and it's, uh, uh, it's kind of a, a disco theme. I can't remember exactly what they called it, but, uh, uh, it should be a lot of fun. I tried to find that video. I couldn't find it. So we'll have to let you know where it's posted. So we are boogie bash. Thanks, Dave. That's what it is. It's the boogie bash. <laughs> so, yeah. Excellent. That would be fun. Um, I saw the video briefly. It's the corporate executives having the time of their lives making idiots out of themselves. So that's what we love the most about them. And they do it really well when it comes to these promotions for these events. They love dressing up and having a great time. So we will be having some corporate executives on the line for us, mark the date for Saturday, September 21st. For those of you who can't make convention, we'll be doing a Zoom webinar with updates. So that'll be a phenomenal event. And also October, it's just a reminder as well that we've got the Diamond Summits coming up. So of course the extension program in Oahu and then in Maui. And then November, of course, we've got Alan Noble coming. We are really excited. Many of you know we've been asking him for five years to come back out. So this will be completely sold out. All of these events will be completely sold out. In fact, we're looking for a larger venue now in Brisbane. And Perth have upgraded to a larger venue. It just still needs more confirmation but it looks like it's going to be at the Pagoda. Um, but we'll keep you posted. Just get your tickets at redoxdiamonds.com or aseraevents.eventbrite.com.au. But I'll have those webinar links or website links up here again for you in just a little while. <clears throat> so then um, the next slide just shows the Sydney and Brisbane events as well. So February, March, don't let the deadlines go past where you're going to be paying more for your tickets. So get the tickets for the Envision event for the Friday and the Saturday full day Envision event on the Gold Coast at aseaevents.com. The ticket price for this event is in US dollars because it's from um, corporate. And then the next event is our peak performance training on Sunday, March 1st. Um, redoxdiamonds.com. Those tickets are in um, Australian dollars as well. So here's the redoxdiamonds.com page where you can see that you can get tickets through Facebook. You can get access to, or you can get tickets directly through this site here and access to previous expert in the house recordings, as well as recordings from last year's peak performance training. So you can pick them all up right there. Here are the websites to take a screenshot of if you like. So all corporate events are aseaevents.com. Australian Diamond events are redoxdiamonds.com. You've got Facebook page, ASEA AU Diamonds, and the Facebook page, I need to get this site updated with the events for ASEA um, Redox. No, what is it, Bart? Australia, New Zealand. Redox events, Australia, New Zealand. Beg your pardon. And then aseaconvention.com for the tickets. Remember to use the redoxshop.com who ship these amazing tools out of Melbourne. Um, they're there for our benefit. We can save a ton of time and expense really getting ship, them shipped from the US. So use that site. And we're excited for you to join our newsletter. They go out a fortnightly. At the moment, you can visit this link. I'm still working with MailChimp to get it uh, shortened so it's more easy to remember, but take a screenshot of that. Join the newsletters for updates and also for recognition. And we look forward to seeing you next month on September 6th, 7th. I just need the next slide, Barb. 
Oh, this is a way to, you'll see at the bottom of the newsletter, there's a, a place to subscribe at the bottom of the newsletter and the bottom of the intro. And we'll see you on August the 7th um, from Las Vegas. Well, it actually will be the 8th for us over there. But we're looking forward to you all joining us. Thank you so much to our guest speakers today for Tammy, uh, Mal, for Steve. Happy birthday again, Steve. And for Peter Campbell as well. Um, no doubt you've benefited a lot from everything that they've had to say. We're excited they were able to join us. Thank you for in investing your valuable time to be with us on these monthly webinars. And if there's anything you can do, would like, need us to do, reach out and connect with us. And we look forward to seeing you really soon. So Bart, did you have any final comments? No, just uh, look, let's, uh, looking forward to, to a fantastic month, uh, finishing the year off strong, conventions, looking forward to seeing everybody there. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go for it. For all of you that are running for Reach for the Beach and uh, the U.S. incentive program, just uh, go for it. Let's have some fun. Let's help a lot of people. And uh, Order yeah, your I'm of so grateful for all of you. Can I, just, uh, can I just say thank you to you guys. You, you, you put it, I don't know how you put all these screens together. I don't know how you do all this stuff. But <laughs> just a huge thank you to you, um, Melissa and Bart, for all the trouble you go to to uh, put these on for everyone. Uh, I, I really don't know how much time, but I can imagine it takes hours and hours and hours to put all these screens together, slides together, and hours and hours and I just don't know where you make the time to do this, but um, thank you again. Thanks for all that you do to support everybody in the organization tirelessly and selflessly and uh, to help everybody. So I, I just wanted to say a special thank you to you for everything you, you constantly do all the time for us. So um, uh, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. And remember to order your ASEA BF. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Mal. See you next month.